Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a picture queue, or basically put pictures in on, on top of a cube. So this basically here are three images that really are rotated in a 3D effect that look like a cube. So, and it's got a shadow effect here and I've got some nice kind of a black white whitish background here. So I'll show you how to create this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to insert a new slide. So I'm going to go ahead and click new slide, blank slide. And let's not have this background effect here for now. I'm going to go up to design, design tab, go under background styles, and I'll just select white background. So part of creating this cube effect is basically taking three images and putting it together in the top in a top portion of the cube, the left portion of the cube, and the right portion of the cube. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a the first picture. So I'm going to choose, maybe I'll choose this jellyfish for now. And once I insert it in there, you can see it has taken over the whole slide. And the one, what I want to do is reduce this to 3 by 3. I can go up here, and once I have this selected, I can go up here to the, the um, size grouping and go ahead and click the dialog, the size and position uh, dialog box launcher. It's going to bring up the format picture uh, dialog box. Or you can go ahead and just right click and go into format picture and go under, in this pane, go under size and uh, adjust the size. Make sure that the lock aspect ratio checkbox is unchecked because if we adjust one size it's going to adjust the other size automatically based on the aspect. So what we want to, and this is a rectangle, kind of a rectangular aspect. We don't want that. We want a square aspect. So I'm going to change the height to 3 inches and also change the width to 3 inches. If I tab out of there, you can see now it's changed. Also what I want to do is add some effects to this square. So I'm going to go ahead and go under the 3D format and under the 3D format pane under bevel, I'm going to select the convex bevel. So now you can see that it's got this type type of bevel shape here. And under the line color, uh, we're going to have a solid line color. Let's give it a little bit of line color here. And this, instead of this default blue, we'll make it a little darker here, this kind of black kind of line color. Go ahead and close that. And now we can see now we have our kind of bevel shape here. What I want to do is I want to duplicate this image with these other features uh, twice. So I'll go ahead and select that image, go under the Home tab, and click this drop down under the this copy icon and click Duplicate. So I was, I'm going to duplicate it twice. So now I've got three sets of images. I'm going to bring this down here to the right, bring this down here to the left, and bring this over here to the top. So with these other images, I want to I want to change the images for the other two. This I'll probably change these bottom images. Let's go ahead and change this one. So there's two ways we can do it. You can go under the Format tab and go under the Adjust group. Go ahead and click Change Pictures, or you can just actually just right click and go under Change Pictures. And here we'll probably add another image. Let me add this dog bone image. And once you insert in there, the dimensions are going to change based on what that image was originally saved as. But we can go ahead and rechange, resize that back to 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to go ahead and right click that under Format Picture. And under the size here, I'll go ahead and make sure that's unchecked. Go ahead and change it back to 3x3. Three three. I don't need to actually escape out of this window or close out of this window to change the other images. I can just go ahead and select it. You can see now it's this image is selected and that one got changed. Let me go ahead and oh, I forgot to uh, uh, adjust the image here. So I actually I do have to close that. Let me go ahead and adjust the image here and change the picture. Right click, uh, change picture. Let me add something else here. Let's add uh, let's add tulips. Go ahead and insert that. And now we right click format picture and go under size and go 3 by 3. Click Close. And now we have our three different images. And so what we want to do now is uh, align them or format them to uh, adjust the 3D shape to make this one flat, to make to make the top of the cube, this one the, the left of the cube, and this image the right of the cube. So any of these pictures I could just right click and go back into the format picture. And in the format picture window, I'm going to go ahead and select 3D rotation. 
With the 3D rotation and going to 3D rotation pane, I'm going to select one of the presets. So this one's going to be the top. So I want to go under the parallel section here and select this off axis one top. So that's going to adjust it for the top. Now I don't need to close this. I can just select my other images, select this one, and this one's going to be the left. So this is going to be off axis one left. So now it's adjusted that. Click on the right image, the image that will be on the right side. And you see that's selected and go under the presets here and select the off axis one right. Now I can go ahead and close this. And now I have to start to bring these pieces together. I'm going to go ahead and just select them with my mouse and just bring them together. Now for more fine tuning, you'll probably have to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of the images here. And also probably what you need to do is increase the size of the uh, uh, zoom in. You probably need to zoom in a little bit to help you uh, see this a little bit better when we're adjusting it. So I'll zoom in to 130%. I'm going to select one of the images and use the arrow keys to adjust it. If we wanted to do some more fine tune adjustment, you need to press the control key and with the arrow key to adjust it a little bit more with a little bit more fine tuning. So I've got the control key pressed and I think that that's got it there. And I'm going to select the top image here and bring it down with the arrows and control arrow key to bring it over to the left here and maybe down a little bit. And I think that actually looks like it's true. So let me go ahead and reset this to fit the current window. Now we have our cube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, all the sides of the cube and group them together. So now you see they're all selected. So I can either right click and select group here or there's actually another under the format tab. There's also under, and under the arrange group, you can also group it here. So either way, you, either way you like to do it, you can do it that way. So now we've set all our sides together. What we want to do is we want to introduce the shadow effect. So to introduce the shadow effect, we have to actually uh, insert another shape. So what we want to do is insert a rectangle shape. So under the Insert tab, select the rectangle shape and just kind of draw a rectangle. It doesn't matter about the size right now that you draw it. We're going to adjust it. So once that's drawn, I'm going to right click, go under Format Shape, and also in the size, make it make this three by three. So that's going to be three by three. And I don't want this to have a fill color of blue, so I'm going to change the fill color to make this white. And I don't want to have the borders, the border colors. So I'm going to have the line color, no line color. So now that that's set, we want to create the shadow effect. So the shadow is going to um, come off of this shape. So I have to go under Shadow here, and under the presets, we're going to go under the perspective area here and click on the shadow below. So now you see there's going to be a shadow below. The next step is what we want to do is we want to make this rotate, similar to how it's rotated here in the top. So I'm going to go under 3D Rotation and select the parallel axis, off axis one top. So now this is exactly the same type of rotation as this top one. Go ahead and uh, actually there's one more thing that you need to do with under under the shadow. You actually have to adjust some of these parameters here. So with transparency, I think we can bring it up to let's see, probably to 90. And the size, I want to make the size a little bit bigger than the square here. So I'm going to make that up over 100, maybe 100 and 110. And then the blur, don't want to have it too fine of a sharp line. So I'm going to make the blur a little high. So probably in the 30s. And the maybe make the size a little bit bigger too. So you can, as you can see, you can adjust this any way you want to, to your liking. And the angle, I think this should be about a, between 110 to 115. So see, as I increase it, it kind of goes in kind of a circle format here. But it's probably best to have it at about 100, 110 here. And the distance is how far you want the shadow from the shape. And this could actually should be a little bit far. So let's see, I think this could be up to 70 would be OK here. 
So you can play around with this a little bit to, to your liking. I think the I think, I think the transparency could be a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. And the size maybe a little less. And maybe the angle maybe the angle a little uh, one tension should probably be good. Let me go ahead and close this. And you can see here now that this shape is in front of the cube. What we want to do is send it behind the cube. So we can select that image, go to format, and go you can either select send backward here or you can right click here and send back. So now this image is behind this cube and what you want to do is you want to move it right under the cube here. And here are the same as what we were doing fine tuning. We can use our arrow keys on the keyboard to fine tune it so it shows up right under. You don't see that white part under it, not, but you just see the shadow now. So now we have our shadow under the cube and what we can do is introduce back the background. So I'm going to design tab, going to background styles, select style 8, and here we have our cube. So you can see that it's a little it's a little bit different here from this one. So what you can do, what you can do if you you you're doing your own cube is you can start to make the adjustments to the the lines and the sh the way that you like the, the shadow if you want to be, make it darker or lighter or have it offset a little bit differently. But that is the way you can make a picture cube. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.